Open Interface is an EU-funded project that's developing a component-based framework for prototyping advanced interaction techniques. In order to investigate, evaluate, and refine interaction techniques under development, designers need access to usage data, both in real time as users interact with devices and retrospectively. This video presents our approach to providing this data using visualizations embedded in the framework and the integration of our framework with a separate data visualization environment called Replayer. To illustrate our approach, we'll use a simple example based on a technique for navigating Google Earth via a handheld device called the Shake, which is also being developed as part of the Open Interface project. The Shake is a Bluetooth sensor pack with a variety of built-in sensors, including a three-axis accelerometer, two capacitive sensors, and a vibrotactile actuator. Our Google Earth Navigator works as follows. Tilting the shake left, right, up, or down produces a virtual key press event that's passed to the Google Earth application. Two capacitive sensors on the top of the shake can be used to zoom in or zoom out at the current location. Finally, vibrotactile feedback is employed to signal significant changes in the height of the terrain being viewed. In order to examine usage data at runtime, we've built an open interface component that offers a generic oscilloscope-like display of any event stream available within the open interface framework. In our example, three instances of the oscilloscope are currently visible, each subscribing to a different event stream. Complementing this real-time data visualization, the open interface framework also provides a generic logging service to record selected event streams for later examination. To view this data, we have chosen to use the replayer visualization environment that's been developed for multidimensional time series data. To illustrate our use of replayer, open interface logs from two user trials have been imported and two graphs configured to represent the different key codes generated by users' actions during the task one in red and one in blue. From this side-by-side -side comparison, differences in the style of navigation between the two users are clearly apparent. We can also compare the key press data from the previous illustration alongside a corresponding accelerometer trace from the shake device. In summary, Open Interface's flexible architecture has enabled us to provide a rich and configurable set of usage data visualizations at low cost. It's already proving to be useful in exploratory investigations such as the one illustrated here.